Four of these are upon us, and apparently the I2 is all but confirmed. Well, that's what I would have said if Big Polaroid didn't just go ahead and release the dang old camera before I finish this video. <laughs> Well, shit. And let's not bury the lead here. This is a $600 camera. <laughs> hey, what do you know? This might just be the coolest camera they've ever made. Very cool. Very that cool. That was from Instagram. Very I'm cool. not the one saying that. This camera can take iType film 600 and SX70 film, which admittedly is pretty cool. It has onboard manual controls, autofocus, a tripod socket, and most interesting to me, their sharpest lens. Their sharpest ever lens that just so happens to be plastic. Wow. And there are definitely people out here who are mocking others for calling out this fact. Yeah, super sorry for bringing that one up. Polaroid's out here asking the same price as a used entry level mirrorless camera, but fuck me for wanting a glass lens. And completely unrelated thought here, just remember that all these very glowingly positive video reviews all just happen to come out at the same time. It's not like Polaroid prioritizes giving new cameras to people who only say nice things about them. Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> There's already an i2 for sale in New York. If you've been following my channel and not getting notified anytime I upload, which is really awesome, I love when that happens, then you may or may not know that I've kind of backed away from Polaroid a little bit. I explain all that in this video. Am I excited for this camera? Uh... No. I will admit, there is a part of my ape brain that's like, ooh, shiny new thing. But it all comes down to the film. You could have the best camera in the world, but if you don't get consistent results out of it, it doesn't matter. Some of the sample photos I've seen have been really cool. Though I will say the one on the landing page is not super impressive to me. But it doesn't matter if this lens is sharp enough to cut Frieza in half. The system is only as good as the film that you put into it. And as we all know here, Polaroid has been anything but consistent in the last couple of years. You're paying an extremely high price to get into the system, and then you have to keep feeding it film, which costs money. money. Hilarious that people are complaining about the price. The original SLR cameras cost $1,300 in today's money, and they sold like hotcakes for years. And film cost a lot more too, even compared to today's prices. Yeah, those cameras sold like hotcakes because the film actually worked back then. The temperature outside didn't really matter as much, they developed quickly, and Polaroids from back then still kind of look better than Polaroids. Polaroids do today. Well, roasted. Here's the reality. Some of my best performing videos ever are about Polaroid. It would greatly benefit me to get this camera and pump out a bunch of videos on it. It would get me a bunch of views and a bunch of money. But I'm sorry, I gotta stick to my guns here. I'm not doing it. I'm sorry, but I don't think things have changed enough to get me back on the Polaroid train. During the time in which I wasn't shooting Polaroid, not a lot really happened. The speakers have been on and off sale since I made that last video. I actually was gonna make another video kind of mocking that, and then I just realized like, it's not really worth my time. Plus I have plenty of other videos that I'm not finishing, so yeah, yeah. Here's a hot take. The Polaroid speakers were a miss. No. I know literally one person who owns a Polaroid speaker. I'm not naming names, Jam Stills. Whoops. He speaks really highly of that speaker. I asked you guys if you owned a Polaroid speaker and a whopping 2% said yes. That's rough, buddy. And for the record here, my audience is generally Polaroid friendly. Besides the speaker, they released the Polaroid Go Gen 2. Wow. It's better. It's more precise. My source is that I made it the fuck up. Then why the fuck are they still selling the Gen 1 for the same price? I shouldn't have to say this, but uh, who am I kidding? This is YouTube, of course I have to say this. I don't have a problem with Polaroid putting out a new camera or even subsequent versions of their previous cameras. I actually think new cameras are a good thing. It helps get more people invested into this wacky world of film. What I do have a problem with is Polaroid's priorities. The focus is on new cameras instead of perfecting their film. You know, the whole 18 bucks for eight shots thing. If Polaroid could get their film to the consistency of Instax, but with the Polaroid colors, I would literally buy any camera they release. The post about film improvement and all that stuff happened almost a year ago. Any updates on that? Has there been a new iType film drop I'm not aware of? Other than some people saying, trust me, bro, I haven't really heard a peep. But there have been a bunch of camera releases since then. Don't ask questions. Just consume product and then get excited for next products. A quick glance on Reddit Ew. shows that people are asking the same questions now they were a year ago. My videos about Polaroid performance still get the same comments they were getting a year ago. Really great timing on this comment. This came in the same day I was finishing up this video. For every I-type pack I buy, three will be okay. It's just like that meatloaf song, three out of eight ain't bad. 
That's how that one goes, right? I asked you guys about your experience and 69% of you said either Polaroid is about the same or worse than last year. Some epic Polaroid stands are trying to cope and say that the inconsistent film is all user error. I guess 69% of the people who responded to this poll are just doing it wrong. That is big Overwatch energy. That's like when your tank rushes in to die in a 1v5 and then spams the chat saying the DPS and support players are trash. Yeah, but you're the only one doing it right and everyone else is stupid. Not to mention the fact that Polaroid Polaroid rolled out like a whole new cope ad campaign. Life is imperfect. Let's stop pursuing perfection. No one's asking for perfection. They're just asking for consistency. The i2 with the sharpest lens ever and full manual controls is designed for the imperfectionist. Right. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure if Kodak came out and said that real life is imperfect, so Portrait 800 only gonna work 60% of the time. I'm sure people would be really happy to hear that. Something to keep in mind is I show everything. If I scuff, focus, or underexpose a photo, you see it. Not every photography channel on YouTube does that. So just remember that when you're seeing a bunch of banger shots the next time you're watching an i2 review. And it's for the same reasons I listed in my previous video that I will say, I hope you enjoyed the i2. I hope it's an awesome camera. Let me know how it is because I'm not buying it. I mean, hey, if someone wants to send me the camera to my P.O. box, which is in the description below, I wouldn't stop you. But I'm not paying for it. However, I can be convinced to try out a newer pack of Polaroid film if you let me know that you're interested in the comments below. All right, my precious little eggies from the bathroom, on the toilet, I bid you farewell. Bye. Like and subscribe. Sweet Lou Photography. Dumb man.